YouTubers, my pickup of 12 pounds the other day has just arrived. Um, so I wasn't bothered about these tapes, these are VHS compact ones. Um, there may be stuff on them, but they're probably in terrible condition, so. And I don't frankly need them. Oh, well, that one's missed, they're all missing their tops. Yeah, they'll be going into recycling. Uh, and then there was, I think it was a Samson. Which has got parts missing. As I say, this was all spares and repairs. Nope, this is a Sony, which is the one I cared about. Oh, it comes with a battery. So if anything, if nothing else, maybe there'll be a battery that's usable out of it. It's got its screws in. Yes, it's in terrible condition. Um, no power supply, but it's not a problem. This the first one we'll do, be doing with this is clearing it up. But uh, it looks complete. Let's check the screen. I didn't photo that. It has a screen. It's not smashed, so that's something. Okay. Right. I'll show you the other camera anyway, but it's the whole thing was for parts and I think it was listed for 20 and then I did an offer for 10 and then he said 15 and then I said 12. And I think that's how it ended. Uh, okay, Sanyo. Um, missing the top. Got no way of powering this. I don't own anything to power it. And frankly, it's Video 8 one. It doesn't... Stereo. Eh. Maybe one day I'll try and do something with it, but it's missing a top, which probably means someone's tried to rip into it, though that's it's there. Who knows? Anyway, first things first, even though COVID is over, people looking after equipment, unfortunately, isn't any better. Uh, debt or it is, I think, in a case like this. Oh, God, those. Immediately the top hips are just all dust. Or dirt, grime, whatever you like. Yeah, I really hope this one works because at the end of the day, um, for twelve pounds, <laughs> it's a very good deal. And I don't have a TRV sixty six anymore because they are one of the cameras that are a lot more desirable. I, when I was struggling one month, I had to sell a few things, and that was one of the things um, which I got my money back on. So. Um, no, I'd had one for a while and, you know, um, it's not the end of the world. They, they seem to pop up quite regularly still, despite them coming out in 1998, but they are more desirable ones. So yeah, if you can get a deal on the TRV66, the extra resolution, as it says there, XR, extra resolution, um, they definitely are the better high eights with the uh, lamp as well. You've got a lamp if that actually still works. Last one did, uh, halogen lamp. Uh, stereo microphone, headphones, microphone input, but um, you know what, I've left you waiting too long, so let's, just wanted to give it at least a bit of a clean before touching it really. It's probably going to be in shock because it's probably not been powered up in a long time. I'll try and clean it a bit more later. Right, a battery that I know works, let's see if this one's got any juice in it. It made a noise, that's something. Let's put it into VCR mode. Because the first thing I'm going to do with it is uh, run a head cleaner. That button is very sticky. Okay, so that's oh, it's turning on and off. Is that just loose battery, hopefully? Uh, so, yeah, before I put a normal tape in it and sacrifice one, I'll just run a head cleaner for it. That's if it opens at all. Oof, it's clicking. Oh, that's not good. Oh. My God. So it's got a tape in it. Simon and Dang, someone's uh, wedding video. The user got it house clearance. Um, I normally, when I pick up something like this, first, somebody, first thing somebody says is I'll let the person know um, they might you know be able to get their video off it or I might be able to do it for them because that's the service I've done a few times on eBay um, but because I've got the equipment um, but he was somebody who got it from house clearance so completely no point so let's put you in does the screen work the screen does indeed work let's fire you up for 10 seconds hope for the best 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, when cleaning tapes, it does use, say, ten seconds. Um, you can do it a second time round, and if real, really bad, you could do it a third time. After testing a tape, of course, don't just do it for 30 seconds in one hit. Do 10 seconds. Try a tape that's being problematic if that's the issue, uh, and then do it again up to, say, a maximum three times. Don't do it after that, because if it's still not clearing after three turns, there's more likely some sort of mechanical issue with it or head alignment or the like. So, out of interest, let's just see if this is a mouldy tape. Oof, yeah, that's not going back in there. That's got, I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's got different variations of colour, which is even mould, uh, which would explain why it was a bit sort of sticking to get open. Um, or, oh, yes, yeah, just some sort of damp on there. I'm not going to ruin my, ruin the potential ruin the heads after I've given it a clean with a proper Sony tape cleaner. Always buy the Sony ones. Um, I think Maxell did them, they might be all right, but the other brands, complete waste of time. Okay, so let's get a tape now. Um, test tape. Is this digital though? It's probably digital, eh? I'll get a brand new tape. I'll be back. All right, let's go for it. Let's uh, open a brand new 30 minute Maxell tape. That'll do. It shouldn't eat it up based on the fact that it played the cleaning tape absolutely fine. But I haven't even put a battery in it actually to test the well, the date and everything's probably going to be long since uh, dead. Oof. She's a bit noisy, but then the last TRV66 was, I don't think they're particularly, for all the people that praise them in terms of quality and what have you, and it being the extra resolution, they, they are a slower mechanism because the Rewind and Ford on, it wasn't just mine. I'd, I'd watch reviews and somebody actually commented on one of their videos going, yeah, the TRV66 is just quite slow. So, okay. Oh. That would help. Right. Okay, it's on. Yeah, it's flashing the date things of the CR battery, which for your uh, record is in here, which is a 2032. Um, I believe. It's not very bright in here. Uh, it's the Sony, the original Sony as well. So yeah, just a little bit old. But yeah, I think they're 2032, but I can't actually see because apparently my sight's a shit. It is my sight shit now. Right, let's just give this a go on, on camera. Hello, we are recording on the Sony TRV66, a camera that I got for £12. Zooming works. We've got digital zoom turned on, the dirty zoom, because uh, the battery was flat, so everything that was on there menu-wise is gone. Let's turn that off instantly. 16 by 9. It's not a widescreen camera, but um, it can do the cropping thing. Well, not cropping, it puts the... Uh, black bars on. Steady shot definitely always on, that's on by default. And date and time I'll set once I've got a battery in there. Um, if it is a 2032, which I believe it is, I'll put it on the text in the video. I'm filming this on the Panasonic H, uh, HEX2000, which I've had um, about a year now, around about, nearly, nearly a year. Actually, have I had it over that? I don't even remember. God, my memory really is shit. I've definitely had it every year. I got it in 2020, didn't I? 20, 2021? I don't know. I can't, I'm really knackered. I probably shouldn't have done the fitness. <laughs> I did a fitness workout before doing this, but it just, it's how it turn, turned out. Hello, TRV66. You seem to be recording. You're zooming. Um, you look like uh, poo, but um, you are seemingly operational. Let's play this back. Definitely needs some uh, lubricant or cleaning. Let's rewind this, which will be nice and slow because it's a TRV66. There you can hear. Ooh, a bit clicky as well, but still. Do you work though? Let's have sound. Sound. Let's fold on a bit. Yeah, I think we've got a winner here. Well, we've definitely got a winner. It's working. Oh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. 
Your ear on is clicking a bit, but it is. This might be tired. It might have been the tape sat in there so long. That only happened when I spun the camera around, so it could just be it's a bit delicate as I say that, that it's had a tape stuck in it for God knows how long. Um, normally I like to put the original tape in just to be nosy and see, you know, a date stamp, it gives you an idea, doesn't it, when it was last operated in general, but um, on this case, the tape's condition, I'm just not going to risk it. Um, as I say, the tape mechanism is noisy as you could hear there. Um, it was a bit problematic when I turned the camera around, but you know, it's old, these are all old, you run that risk uh, with these things, but for the sake of £12, <laughs> uh, I think I'm alright, you know. Uh, certainly won't be a case of selling this on because it's just not worth a hassle. If I've made, if I bought it for £12 and sell it, you know, I'd only want to sell it for at least what I paid for it, and it, it could run the risk of coming back unless I just sell it as faulty again, but yeah, it's just not worth it. The fact that it does actually record as well and play back, um, it just looks like it might be a bit delicate um, because of age and tape mechanisms. Could actually be the tape, you know, it's brand new, but I mean, these are all bloody old tapes. But what I'll do for it actually is a good idea just to, this is always a good idea, apart from cleaning the heads, obviously, just put the tape in forward on, let it forward on the hot tape and then rewind exercise the, the the tape mechanism make a, ugh, tape mechanism basically but i hope you enjoyed this one um and i'll speak to you all again soon bye for now clean my hands dirty very dirty <laughs>